guys, it's Haley Beth Worthman here with Laura, and we are at BYS Yoga in the cell side of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to be demoing how to come through from plank to low plank safely, also known as plank pose to chaturanga. So this pose I see every single day done by thousands and thousands of practitioners, and it's really important that it's done correctly because when I do see this done incorrectly, I telepathically see injuries happening and we don't want those happening. We practice yoga today so we can practice until we're 90 years old. So with the vinyasa system as well as ashtanga, this is a transition that is so popular. And in order to really do it correctly, we have to really be thoughtful about where our body placement is. So Laura is going to show us how to do this correctly and it will change your life forever. Laura here is in plank pose and what's really important to think about is the stacking. So she has her shoulders stacked directly over her wrists and it's not only just where her shoulders are. She's drawing her belly in, her tailbone is drawn down towards her heels of her feet and the heels of her feet are drawing back towards the wall. So she's in a straight line here. And when she comes through, through Chakaranga, she really wants to remain exactly where she is. The only thing that is changing is the placement of her arms. She is going to gaze forward and draw her shoulders past her wrists. As she does this, she's going to turn her elbows back behind her and the soft flesh of her elbows is facing forward. So you can see where she is on her feet now. Before she had her feet drawn back behind her. And now she's coming onto her toes to bring her shoulders past her wrists. To come through her chaturanga, she's going to squeeze her elbows in towards her ribs and gently lower as her shoulders are away from her ears. And from here, she's going to effortlessly float into upward facing dog or Vimukha Svanasana by coming onto her ten toenails, pressing the mat away from her, shoulders draw away from the ears, and then exhaling Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog.